everybody, Jason at Jack Fab here. We're here today at Norpac Power Systems, and we've got the car on this Dyno Dynamics load dyno. We've got the fan running. We've already kind of made a couple pulls to get all the kinks worked out, get everything going. So we're going to be testing the race chips, and then uh, we'll try and get some video of the runs, and then uh, put something together when it's all said and done. It sucks not having a screen on the back of this. Okay, so this is our stock baseline run, the stock valve, and the stock tube. Let's see what it'll do. Purity brought to you by 7 Eleven, unofficial sponsor of Jack Fab. So here we are back in the shop. I got my running lights on again because they look cool. And first off, I want to apologize for the lack of excellent dyno footage. It's kind of hard to be the cameraman, run the car, do the stuff, and everything. Um, you know, I'm still not set up great to make all these videos for you guys but I'm doing what I can with my old GoPro. Hopefully it'll get a lot better in the future. But <coughs> what I can say is from doing the baseline run, letting the car cool off, pushing a little button on the race chips, jacking it up to six, and then jumping right back in and picking up 30 horsepower and 32 foot-pounds of torque, that's pretty impressive for just pushing a button, especially when this whole thing can be removed and you can go in for warranty purposes if you have to, if something, if something detrimental were to happen. Now you may be saying to yourself, 280 horsepower, that's a lot for a stock four-cylinder Camaro, don't you think, Jason? Well, it's a little high, I get it. Every dyno reads different, you gotta think about that too. This was a Dyno Dynamics dyno, I've never been on one, had no clue how it was gonna read, but this is what we got and you know that's it but you also got to think too i have a catless downpipe and a knn air filter so that's going to help things breathe a lot better so this 280 is probably a little more than what it would have been if i had say had the stock cat on there but regardless to push a button and pick up 30 horsepower and 32 foot pounds of torque i'd say it works pretty good and you gotta remember the numbers on the race chips website, those are crank numbers. So you figure 20-ish percent drivetrain loss, it's probably pretty close to realistic, um, you know, considering these numbers that we got off the wheels today. So um, anyway, the dyno testing is done. So in the meantime, I'm gonna pull the race chips off. I've also got the race chips XLR, the throttle controller, that I'm gonna put on and start testing by itself. And I'll do some videos on that in the near future. I would like to test these products independent of each other so I get a feel for which one does what and how 
they go about it. So at some point, we'll put them both on there. Apparently, if you run both, you get the maximum driving enjoyment. Well, I want to run them individually, so that's what I'll do. So check back in the near future. We'll have some more videos on the uh, XLR throttle controller. And yeah, so anyway, race chips, GTS Black. I said I could feel it. 30 horsepower is pretty feelable. So that's all I got for today. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends. Check back next time. Thanks for watching.